So again, teacher Fred in the studio presenting again another lesson which is so interesting just like we have been doing or we have been following ourselves since. The program started some time back. For those who have been following us, they know how we have been moving. Most of uh, the candidates that have been following the program from the first day up to now, they know where we are, they know where we are going. But earlier on, for those who have just joined us today, I said we are dealing with the, uh, we are dealing with the unit six of the syllabus basing on uh, CBC curriculum. We are now on unit six, which says uh, percentages, ratios, mixtures, and proportions. So for today's case, I have another lesson that I want to deliver which is on percentages and under these percentages I want us to look at how do we decrease numbers using percentages. In simple terms, our lesson today is decreasing numbers by percentages. The one who is going to deliver the lesson is known as Teacher Fred. You have been here, you know me, I believe so. For those who have been following the program, my candidates outside there. So let's look at example one and we see what does it say. It says a primary six pupil called Shemaroik from Wisdom Center in Vijayasera district had 900 suites. He had 900 suites. That was a pupil or a candidate at a Wisdom Center school. And that school is located within Karumuna, which is Sela. Uh, they had 900 suites and gave out 25% to his class teacher, Mr. Obongi Simon. Okay, that is what the statement is telling us that this pupil or this candidate called Shema Roik is just from Bujasera district at the same time is from Karumuna that is where the school is so they are saying this boy here is in primary six like uh, he came to school with 900 suites out of the number of suites he came with at school he decided to get some percentage of his suites and I gave to his class teacher and out of 900 suites that he gave out, he only removed 25% of the suites and gave out to his class teacher. So it means if we had 100% and he gave out, if we had 100% and gave out 25%, first of all, ask yourself, when he gives out, is he decreasing or is he increasing? I think giving out, you are decreasing from what you have. For example, I have, uh, I have two pieces of chalk. If I have two pieces of chalk, then um, I give out one, it means I have degrees on the number of pieces of chalk that I had. So when we come to degrees or decrement, decrement means we are going to get the number from where it is and we bring it down. So that process of bringing it down is the one we are calling as a degrees, okay? So how are we decreasing this? We have got the number of suites, which we know they are 900. When he gave out to his teacher, he decreased them. Because when you give out, they cannot increase. They cannot increase. Why? You have got what you have. You have now surrendered it to somebody else. So once you give out something, it means what you are going to remain with, it will decrease. Okay? That's what we're meaning by degrees of numbers. But at the same time, the question now is asking us to find the number of suites. How many suites did the Shemaroi remain with? After giving the teacher, how many? 25%. But did we know the number of suites which are in 25%? No. Now for us to be in order to find out the number of suites, for us to know the number of suites that Royik remained with, we have first of all to consider the original percentage. And the original percentage is equal to the original amount of suites that he had, or original number of suites that he had. That is what we are supposed to do. So we shall come here and say method one. Method one. 
Method one, we shall first of all identify. We shall first of all identify. We shall identify the number of streets that gave our he remained with at first, that is 100% of the suits. The suits he had at first, they are considered as 100%. So 100% of the original suits which he had, that was 900 suits. 100% gives us 900 suites. At first, the first number he had of sweets, those were 900 sweets. When he came to school, he came with them. The number of sweets he carried from home up to school, it is what we are considering as a one uh, original percentage. And those number of sweets is referred to 100 percent. That's why I'm saying 100 percent. That is now the percentage he came with from home. It gives us 900 suites, meaning that this person here had 900 suites. At the same time, that 900 suites is valued as 100%. Now, let's ask ourselves that if 100% if gives us 900 suites, what about one suite? 100%. 1%. If 100% gives us 900 suites, what about 1%? We want to find out a percent. 1% gives us how many suites is what we want to know. So we shall say 1% will give us, we shall get the number of suites he came with, divided by the original percentage he had, such that we know. How many suites are represented by only 1%? Okay? Once we discover the number of suites that are discovered, are represented by 1%, then we shall be in a position, we shall be able to identify the number of suites that Shemaroyik gave to his class teacher. Okay? And since we have known the percentage that Royik used or Royik gave out to his class teacher, so we shall come and say 1% would be equal to 900 suites. 900 suites divided by 100. This 100 is this percentage. This 900 is this, this 900. So after there, I will say this zero will go with this zero. This zero will go with this zero. Then we shall remain with nine suites. Nine suites. So one percent, only one percent is giving us nine suites. That is for one. Then let's go back to our question. What is our question saying? The question is saying a primary six people called Shemaroik from Wisdom Center in Wujesara District and gave out 25% to his class teacher, Mr. Obon Simon. Okay? Now, if he gave out to his class teacher, what does it mean? Let's first of all find the number of suites that Roik gave to the class teacher. And good enough, we have known 1% is representing 9 suites. So we shall come here that we say suites, suites, suites given to class teacher. Class. So we want to find the number of suits that Shemaroyik gave to his class teacher because he did, they didn't tell us the number of suits that he gave out. But they only told us the percentage that Shemaroyik gave to his teacher. So we are going to calculate the number of suits that Royik gave in form of percentage to his class teacher. Okay? 
So after calculating that, we shall get that number of sweets will remove from 900 because Shemarawik had 900 and they gave out to that. So let's first of all find the number of sweets that Mr. Obangi Simon received. Okay, so we shall say that was given was that is the percentage of sweets given to the teacher. Then we say, if 1% is equal to 9 sweets, if 1% is equal to 9 sweets, what about 25%? What about 25%? We shall say 25 times 9. All this should be sweets. All that should Sweet. Simple. Let's get 29, I mean 25, times 9. If possible, you use quick multiplication. If you don't want to use quick multiplication, come aside and say uh, 25 times 9. I'll say we shall have 25 times 9. 25 times 9 if you want, you use quick multiplication. If you don't want, use this common way of multiplying. So we shall say 9 times 5, or 5 times 9. It will give us 45. 45, we shall write here. 5, here, 4. Okay? 9 times 5, 44. I mean 45. 45, we shall write 5. We regroup 4. 9 times 2. That will give us 18. 18 plus 4, it will give us 22. Okay? It will give us 22. So let's see. 25% seats given to the teacher, we shall say 25%. It is what was given to the teacher. So we shall say 25% gives us how many seats? They are 225 sweets. They are 225 sweets. These are the number of sweets given to the teacher. And how many sweets did he had at first? How many sweets did he come with from home? This boy came from home with 900 sweets. With 900 sweets. But out of 900 sweets, he gave out 25%. And we know very well that 25% according to what we have calculated, it has given us 223. Uh, 25. It has given us 225. So if it has given us 225, what will be the next step? For us to know, for us to be in position answer this question A. Question A said, how many sweets did Shemaroik remain with? So we shall get the number of sweets that he came with from home. Then we subtract the number of sweets that he gave his teacher. And for which we know the number of sweets that he gave his teacher. Right? So come we and say uh, Shema remained with 900 sweets. These are the number of sweets he came with from home. And after there, he gave his teacher 200, 225. 225. When you are writing this, you, be, you consider place values. Start always from ones. These are also sweets that he gave out. After subtracting, we are going to come out with the number of sweets that Roik remained with. Let's see. Zero take out five impossible. You can't borrow one here. Let's come and borrow here one. When we borrow there one, we are going to remain with eight. When we, borrow, when we remain with eight, we shall put one here to make ten. Ten, we shall also borrow one. We leave here nine. We make this ten. Ten take out five it will give us five, okay? It will give us five. Then from there we shall say, nine take away two, 
it will give us 7. From there we shall proceed and say 8 take away 2, it will give us 6. All this will be number of sweets. It will be number of sweets. Then I will come here and I say, therefore, shall remain with 675 sweets. 675 sweets. That is the number of sweets that Shemaroyik remained with. After getting the number of sweets that Shemaroyik remained with, get your ruler and underline your answer. Once, underline your answer using a ruler. Why do we use a ruler? We need our work to look neat. If it's neat, it helps you to get all the marks that you are supposed to get. But if you fail to make your work on it, if you fail to arrange it well, it means you lose some marks purpose because of your handwriting, because of your organization. So try all your level best, my candidates watching me outside there, to make sure that you have the best handwriting, you have the best organization, you work, organize your work until when an examiner looks at it like this, just says, yeah, this one deserves even an extra mark, but not saying, in hey, this work here, we need to remove one mark because of the poor handwriting. Please, take note of that. As I wind up with the first method, let's look at the second method, method two. Method two, method two says, we know the original percentage always is ever 100 percent. Original percentage is ever 100 percent. So if original percentage is ever 100 uh, percent, if you have 100 percent and you give out somebody a certain percentage, it means your percentage is going to reduce. It cannot increase. But if you, if you have 100 percent, another person gives you 100 uh, something to add on, then it means it will increase. But at this time round, you are the one giving out. So we shall get the, our original percentage, okay? Then we subtract the percentage that you are giving to your class teacher. Shemaroy had 100 percent when he came from home. And that 100 percent is what we are calling original percentage. Original percentage. And now what we are going to find out is what we call new percentage. New, new percentage. We are going to find new percentage by saying new percentage, new percentage is equal to original, original Percentage, original percentage, original percentage, minus, original percentage, minus, given percentage, okay? Given percentage, given percentage. So, for us to get the new percentage, he had 100 from home. When he reached school, he got 25% of what he had and gave to his class teacher, Mr. Obong Simon. After giving to Mr. Obong Simon 25%, if we had 100, what did he remain with? It means we shall say, new percentage, the, man, the percentage he remained with is the one we are calling new percentage. So we shall get the original percentage he came with from home, that was 100%. We subtract what he has given to his class teacher, what was given to Mr. Obon Simon. That was it, 25%. So Shemaro Yiki's new percentage will give us 75%. That is Shema Roigi's new percentage. After him giving out, this is the percentage he remained with. And if this is the percentage he remained with, question A was saying, 
Question A was saying, how many sweets did the Shema Royik remain with? How many sweets did the Shema Royik remain with? You can see the question clearly here. How many sweets did the Shema Royik remain with? So after us discovering this side that the original percentage was 100, take our 25 percent, at the end of it all, we shall come out with 75 percent. That is now the new percentage. After him giving out, this is what he remained with. After remaining with this, what was what followed there? We shall now come and find the percentage for us to know the number of sweets that Shema Royik is now having at this time. We shall get 75 percent divided by the original percentage, which is 100 percent. Then we multiply by the number of sweets Shema Royik came with from home. So. 75 out of 100 times sweet. We want to know how many sweets did this boy remain with? We shall get the percentage he remained with, which is 75 out of 100 times. 900 sweets. The 900 sweets are the sweets he came with from home. The 75 percent is coming as a result of he came with 100 percent and gave out to his class teacher known as Mr. Obong Simon 25 percent. After giving Mr. Obong Simon 25 percent, he remained with 100. Uh, he remained with 75 percent. So we shall get this 75% out of 100. Then we multiply by the number of sweets. So I'll say 75 out of 100 times 900 sweets. Times 900 sweets. This will go with this. This will go with this. I've just copied this statement here from up. I've just copied and I pasted it just here. After pasting, then we will cancel out. One should declare working to the examiner. So from there, what are we remaining with? We are remaining with 75 times 9. We are remaining with 75 times 9. Sweet. Now, what we are going to get here is the number of sweets that this boy called Shema Royik remained with. Okay? He already gave out some percentage. After giving out, what we are going to come out with is the, pass, uh, is the number of sweets that Shema Royik remained with. And that will be 75 times 9. We shall come aside and we say, 75 times 9. Okay? 75 times 9, which will give us five, uh, times 5. Okay? Then it means 75 times 9, it will give us 675 sweets. 75 sweets. Then get your after getting the number of sweets and underline, it makes the end of our example to uh, our method two to end here. After there, we shall proceed to another. We shall proceed to another method, and another method says. We shall proceed to another method. Uh, another method says, we shall now find 25% of the number. When we find 25% of the number, we subtract from the original percentage, right? So I want us to continue with the second example. The second example says degrees 
4,500 by 50%. So they want these people here, all this examiner, all the question. The question wants us to degrees. They have given us a certain number. That is uh, 4,500 francs. They want us to reduce that amount by 50%. How are we going to reduce this by 50%? This is what we are going to do. When they talk of uh, reducing, Reducing simply or decreasing simply means reducing. So we are going to decrease this or reduce this by 50%. For us to reduce this by 50%, we shall first of all say the original percentage, which is 100%, minus the given percentage. The percentage that they have given us and they want us to use that very percentage to reduce on this amount of money. So we shall get that percentage as 100% minus 50%. Because they have said we reduce by 50%. This is my 100. When I come with 100, this money is valued as 100%. So if this, is, this amount of money is valued as 100% and we remove 50% of it, it means we shall get 100 take away 50%. And when you get 100%, take away 50%, it will give us 50%. After getting 50%, this is now what we call new percentage. New percentage. After getting our new percentage as 50%, what is supposed to be done? We shall get our 50%, the new percentage, Divide by the original percentage, which is 100%. When we divide by 100%, we shall multiply by the amount which was given. That is 4,500. So I'll get my 50%, which is the new percentage, divide by 100 times 4,500 francs. By doing so, we are converting, or we are reducing, or we are decreasing 4,500 by 50%. Okay? So from there, we shall continue by saying 50 out of 100 times 4,500 zero, zero francs. 50 out of 100 times 4,000 500 francs. Then from there, I would say this zero will go with this zero. Zero will cancel out with this zero. After doing so, we shall come and have the remaining digits as 50 times 45 francs. What we are going to find here, or what we are going to come out here with, it will be considered as the number which has been decreased, uh, it will be considered as the answer to the decrease of 4,500. I'll come and say, this is the same as saying 45 times 50. We can as well use quick multiplication, but for those who are not well conversant with the quick multiplication, you can also use this when you reach here, but it, uh, it is also advisable for you to revise hard about quick multiplication such that you can master it. So let's look at it. Zero will give us zero. Zero times four, it will give us zero. We are done with the first digit. Let's come to the second digit. Five times five, it will give us 25, whereby we shall have to write there five and we regroup our two. 5 times 4, it will give us 20. 20 plus 2, it will give us 22. 22. Then after that, we shall have to add here 0, here 0, here 0. These are placeholders. They have no, they, they don't add anything, they don't reduce anything. So 0 plus 0, it will give us 0. 0 plus 5, it will give us 5. 0 plus 2, it will give us 2. 0 plus 2, it will give us 2. Then I'll put here a comma, 1, 2, 3, comma. These are francs. So what does it mean? It means if you decrease 
4,500 francs. By 50%, you will come out with 2,250 francs. So I'll come here first and I say, there are four, 40, four, zero, zero francs. That is 4,500 francs. Will be or is degrees is degrees is degrees to two thousand two hundred fifty francs. After reaching that stage, just get your ruler and underline your answer. Underline your answer. When you underline your answer, means you are making your work to look neat. As I end, wind up with my second example, take this note. If you want on the second example, you can use other methods. You can check on method one, you try it yourself. Then you check on method two, you also try it. You uh, after that, uh, you will see which one is more convenient for you to use. Okay, if you cannot use method one, you can use method two. If you cannot use method two, you can use method one. All of them will give you the same answer. Meanwhile, there is also another third method, which I believe uh, many of you may be knowing it. If you don't know it, please, as you get back to school immediately, you can find out from your teacher. He will also explain for you more. Meanwhile, for today's case, I'm giving you two methods to follow. Uh -huh. As I wind up with my lesson, I would, also, uh, I would also like to give you some activity. As you are there watching, you, as you have already learned something, you must also take note. You must also take note. You must also get your pen with your book and at least you write something. And in, write something. When you write something, work out that activity. When you finish it, you will get your activity when time for schools open, please take it, go with it at school, hand it over to your mathematics teacher for some consultation and I will help you. Ask him to mark your book. After marking your book, we'll give you the correction in case you have failed. Let's look at the first example, but I believe you will not fail because you have been following me. You have known the way I've been working out. And in case of any inquiry about this, please, this person is responsible for everything. You can find out if there is any error or if there is anything you want to ask about this, please consult the teacher friend on this purposely for inquiries or any comment about the lesson. Just direct to the teacher who has delivered the lesson. His credentials are here. But at the same time, look at the activities. We have the first one says, decrease the following as instructed. One, number one, 4,500 bricks by 50. They want you to reduce these bricks here by 50. Actually, they are supposed to be, it is supposed to be 45, not 4,000. 45,000 bricks by 50%. Then at the same time, number two, we want you to decrease 9,340 by 25%. At the same time, also go to number three. Reduce, I mean, reduce or degrees uh, 37 million 500 francs, 500,000 francs by 10%. The fourth, second, last question, I want you to reduce for me 84 hands by two and a half percent. Lastly, but not least, I want you to go and reduce for me 1,000 cows by 50%. As you are reducing this, put this in mind. We know the situation we are in, it is not a good situation at all, whereby we are attacked by this epidemic disease, which is really so weird on us. But once we follow the directives of the government, the advice of the government, we shall overcome it, I believe so. 
Meanwhile, my humble appeal and to everyone outside there watching us, please keep following our program. Keep following our program. When it comes to an end, you'll be updating. When it comes to an end, you'll be updating. Follow it. Watch our uh, tune to BTN TV for more programs and more learning. However, if you fail or you come late and you found us almost summarizing our lesson and you feel you have not understood well and you feel you need to find out more about the lesson, please just go and subscribe BTN TV channels on YouTube. You'll find the lesson there. Go to their Twitter account. You'll find there. Subscribe to their Facebook. You'll find everything there. Subscribe their Instagram. You'll find everything there. At the same time, you can also visit Wisdom Sender website. You'll get everything. In case you feel like there is anything you want to inquire from this, still I refer you to this information here. Everything is reflected here. Please stay at home. And this is my kind of advice to all parents outside there. Please encourage your pupils, uh, your children to be following this program for their own benefit and our own benefit at the same time. As we extend our sincere thanks to the staff of BTN that sat down and sponsored this program almost flare to make sure that all the candidates don't miss out everything. We know they are missing much, but we thank the staff of BTN that has really come across with this to ensure that we access the little we can. As they access the little they can, I emphasize on this, advise them to carry out revision. They should revise thoroughly because once schools open, I know we are going to have a little bit affected. We are going to be a little bit affected with the syllabus basing on what has been seen on ground. But if you advise your children to keep revising different subjects, we shall end up by catching up with them. Everything will move on well, we believe so. Meanwhile, stay at home, avoid body contact. It is not advisable at all. Until the time the government will give us a directive about that, please stay tuning our BTN TV is the best TV for academic issues. Stay on. Thank you.